You've been reporting on how Apple has been working to replace Intel chips in its computers. Uh, tell us more about uh, what it's doing to replace Qualcomm. Yeah, Emily, so, you know, next up after replacing Intel and Macs is replacing Qualcomm and its iPhones and other devices. Johnny Sruji, the company's senior VP of chip development, told staff in an all-hands meeting yesterday that the company started development of its first cellular modem this year. He didn't say when the company planned to release the modem, but based on the tea leaves we're seeing, it's likely to be at least a year or two away. There are a number of different Qualcomm components in Apple products, not just this one, right? Uh, the most key component that Qualcomm has in the iPhone right now is the modem. They, they used to provide um, additional uh, components, but those have been watered down in recent years as Apple has moved away from Qualcomm and moved towards its own custom uh, processors. But the modem is the big one from Qualcomm in, in, in the iPhone right now. So, so this is, is potentially a huge blow. To Qualcomm, right? This is a huge blow for Qualcomm, right? Uh, Qualcomm gets 11% of its annual revenue, according to our data, from Apple, and Apple is their largest customer for this technology. Uh, as you remember, they struck a big patent settlement and a cross licensing agreement last year, or I should say, a licensing agreement from Qualcomm to Apple last year, a billion dollar deal that finds Qualcomm's modems inside those new iPhone 12s that just launched in order to enable. 5G. So is this going to hurt Qualcomm? Yes. The question is, how long will it take to really have its impact? Now, uh, changing gears slightly, CEO Tim Cook, uh, as you've reported, told staff today it's likely they won't be coming back, most of them, to the office until June. Uh, what else do you know? Yeah, so in that same town hall meeting where the cellular modem was disclosed on Thursday, Tim Cook said that it's unlikely that the majority of, of teams will return to Apple's main offices globally until June of 2021. He also implied that there would be additional work flexibility in terms of perhaps, you know, working from home in some respects after that. But we're unlikely to see, or I should say we're not going to see any full-blown transition to a remote workforce like Facebook and others are, you know, toying with for the future. This is still very much going to be a come-to-the-office company. But Cook did tell employees that, you know, they learned a lot over the past several months. And, you know, for better or for worse, they've seen success with the work from home model. You've seen how many products they were able to launch this year with minimal delays. So clearly it is working in some respects.